United States Championship match between The Miz and Antonio Cesaro. They kind of threw this uh, together after dragging this on for a long time, and I'm I'm over this feud. Is anybody else? Well, at least it actually made them the the pay per view card a step up from the pre show. I would have much rather had them as the two other people in the elimination chamber match instead of hell no. Here's an idea. Why don't we have Miz in a storyline? I think the and I'll, I'll get CM to this Punk. when we get to the chamber a little bit more. But I think <clears> they were trying to go for former world heavyweight champions as people that were in the chamber. If you've noticed, every one of the people that's in that chamber held the title once. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Well. Yeah. So I think that's the gimmick they were going for, whereas like Miz, the only world hey, title he's won is a WWE is it title. Kofi in it? No. 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 Orton, Swagger, Jericho, Henry, Kane, and Daniel Bryan. Hmm. So Kofi's not on the card at all. Yeah, what the hell? Kofi's yeah. not on the card at all. Holy he shit. never made the pre-show. I don't need him to job this week. Yeah, they don't need him to take a pinfall. The SOS stands for his career at the moment. <laughs> it stood for his career three years ago when he yelled stupid at him, okay? <laughs> this year's sent on Benjamin. <laughs> yeah, since Shelton didn't show up. What, you're not down with Airborne? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? We're, we're, spo- yeah, we're supposed to be talking about a U.S. title match, right? Yeah. It's, it's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so I uh, expect a similar match to what they had at the Royal Rumble. I predict yeah. Cesaro to retain as he should. I didn't, there's no reason to put the U.S. title on the Miz, like, yeah. at all. The best, you know what? The best thing about this match would be it to end quickly. I uh, have Cesaro yeah, maybe, 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 as quickly. I don't, yeah, maybe Christian comes back here. I don't know. <laughs> you know Cesaro what? I would have loved to have. I would have loved if they replaced this match with a championship scramble for the United States Championship and just had loads of different contenders in the match. It would have been interesting, and it would have given Cesaro a new way to beat the odds, because that's what you need to do um, in regards to a heel. You need to stack the odds against them. And have them complain about the fact that they're, you know, not getting the respect they deserve, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's what I would do with Cesaro. I wouldn't put him in a predicament that he's having at the moment because at the moment this this whole thing with the Miz is getting boring, you know. So I'm just sitting there politely going, yeah. into the barricade was entertaining. That's pretty yeah. cool. Seeing what? What was that? Miz getting like hurled into the barricade a few thousand times. That was pretty entertaining. Oh, the little uh, swing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, but it's still just gonna be a major snooze fest, and if it ain't, if it's longer than I'll say maybe uh, seven, ten minutes, then everybody's gonna take a bad Huge bathroom break. Nancy's here. Like, like, you know <laughs> what? The, the thing is, right? They haven't promoted the match at all. They haven't. They don't pronounce. The they don't promote anything outside of like, I mean, maybe they top four matches. They haven't for... continued the feud at all. They had Miz inserted in all these little hosts of these. Of Paul Miz Heyman TV. for like the last. Yeah, the it's, build up to the show. What they should have done is had Miz as part of this Shield storyline. You you got Ryback, uh, Cena, Super Cena, and Sheamus. You got a team of freaking superheroes there. Yeah, I call but them the Justice Sh- League. Well, I'll, yeah. get in, I'll get into them as soon as we get to that part. That'll be another part where I'll just have a fun time talking about all three of them. But do go on. You, you have that, and the Miz would have been perfectly inserted into that because he's. He's had a situation where he got beaten down by the Shield. I don't see him against Cesaro as being something productive. It seems it, it it's just as bad as TNA's booking. That, that's all I'm going to say about that. It's just it shouldn't have happened. Um, I'm not going to be a fan of it. This is literally going to be my piss break. But what do you think about this, Peyton? <laughs> I I I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. I, I, oh, I wish I had an opinion. I, I really do not care. It, it really, it really is that type of a match, though, isn't it? Because it's like there's no, there's no real great storyline going into this. There's no real threat cool. of a title change. There's no be, upcoming the mindset of matches surprising and actually being way better than. You know, I think the, I think the match could to going in. The match could be okay as far as like the actual in ring quality. Yeah, but there's no like uh, I guess you could say like momentum to it. There's... It just feels like filler until WrestleMania. Yeah, so yeah, it really is exactly what this whole pay per view is, isn't it? It's about it as much filler like as the pre show matches. It seems like something that you'd put on main event. Yeah. Yeah. A rematch on main event, and then well, that, that that would be a main event for main event though. So yeah. that's pretty decent for this pay-per-view's mid-card. The thing is, 
with pay-per-views, there's supposed to be a storyline. You have your beginning, your middle, and your end. It, with a storyline, you allow it to continue progressively throughout you know, the time the storyline is until it concludes. And the match between The Miz and Cesaro, if they had it based on storyline, it would be their final match, which would have to be a gimmick match. But instead, you're having them go one on one in the same match they had before. Cesaro has nothing to prove. And Miz, Miz has no reason to be challenging no for it yeah. because he hasn't done anything. Yeah. He's just gotten so, his ass kicked, and that's it. What's the point? <laughs> so it's like, uh, you know, if you can get your ass kicked and get a title shot, then where's the Yoshitatsu's world title shot? <laughs> You've got a shitload of mid carders waiting in the wings to challenge both Cesaro and also Barrett. You need to put the focus on you know those titles because they are diminishing quickly because the WWE. Because the WWE and this is what they always do when the Rock comes back. The, no, it's they, not just that. But they do it's not, not view that. the U.S. title or the Intercontinental title to be anything. It's only the World titles. But you're they're the only thing that they give any stars. focus to. In their minds, what? the U.S. title what and IC it? titles are just stepping stone. I know, They're even Brady, more proppy building, than the world titles are. You're building your stars. You're building your main event. What stars? These, the main event is, these guys are going to be the guys who are supposed to take the ball and carry it. You're when not you know that the, way. I know, but this is what it's supposed to be when guys like The Rock and Cena end up getting their payday and fucking off. Because that's what's going to happen after Mania. The Rock ain't going to be there long term. Oh, but your damn sure Cena will be there for the rest of the year, so... No, but apparently he's going to be taking some time off at some point. Anyway, we can fucking hope. The guy's bad. <laughs> we need some development on the roster, and I think and him I would be good. After Ryback's failed attempts at the Rumble to get himself over, I doubt that we're going to actually see him carry the baton. And the the, the weight has can't. to fall. Yeah, the weight has to fall onto guys like Kofi Kingston, like CM Punk, like what well, we don't even know if Punk's going to be a hundred percent after the blooming botched. Um, I don't know what Miz did to him, but uh, apparently he ended up dropping him on his bloody head. So the guy might be concussed. You know, you've got that taker's not certain anymore. Triple H is more of a backstage role now, and you can't sit there and rely on these people to draw your audience, because if you do, you're going to paint yourself into a corner, and the WWE's going to end up neglecting talent that they need to build the company for the future. The future isn't Lesnar. The future isn't The Rock. The future isn't Cena. The future is everybody else you've got in that locker room. And if you fuck them over, you're going to end up in a situation where you're going to have these talented guys who are either going to go elsewhere or say, you know what, I can make the same money in the Indies and work less hours. So I'm going to do that. They're, they're not going to make the same money in the Indies. Yeah, yeah. Well, they do. Not. That's why they go to the fucking no, big companies no because they pay more. They can do on autograph signings. They can do on these little shoot videos that they do about WWE's backstage politics. You know, there's guys who have made a healthy amount of money and have traveled less. You know, if they get signed up by TNA as well, they could work Indies and TNA. Well, Indies or are TNA. You know, it's... That's why I still think that at this point we should have had uh, face Cody Rhodes having had his feud with Damian Sandow and moving on to Antonio Cesaro, Miz could be feuding with Damian Sandow. For, for me, I, I could see... I would have rather had a situation where we had the IC title and the US title governed in some very high-impact matches. You know, show off your main your, your mid-carders, get them in there. You're paying these guys. Get them in there. Show what these guys could do. Have some entertaining matches. Keep the pace of the pay-per-view up very high, very strong, going on to the Elimination Chamber. Because at the moment, you've got a very dead card because you're focusing on the main events, which you shouldn't be doing. They do that all. every pay-per-view. And again, this is the formula that's ended up costing them fans. They're losing people because of it. No, they're losing... Well, it's kind of like that, but they're losing people because we don't have properly pushed entertaining characters throughout the entire card. Yeah. There's just the big draws that they've been using for years who people are getting turned off from, and there's nobody new that are drawing people's interest, like, at are all. You, are said, we watching the same show? I mean, what about Dolph Ziggler 
What about mm-hmm. Damian Sandow? These guys okay, are yeah, they're not being love these booked guys. as credible. Well, they're not getting the same kind of push though as like Cena or um Order Rock but in the bad part about it. You know, I'm pretty sure I watched a pay per view in December and the closing image of that pay per view was Dolph Ziggler standing tall on a ladder over John Cena. Did you guys watch that? Because I did <laughs> from AJ so, pushing what about him off the, of a ladder. Uh, what about exactly. the Royal Rumble? What about exactly? Uh, what about that? Dolph Dolph did amazing at the Rumble itself. Yeah. But throughout the pay per view, the focus was on Punk, Rock, Cena. And Punk's yeah. only getting attention because he basically forced them to back two years ago. But that's beside the point. Cesaro retains. He should retain. Miz should not become United States champion. There. <laughs> that's the bottom line. <laughs> Agreed. Offense, Cesaro retains. I, well, we'll talk a bit more about Ziggler in a bit because they, there's a lot that I, need to, that I need to go on about in regards to his push and, and the fact that he should be in a position. He should be a main eventer by now. You really think so? Yeah. We'll talk about my prediction when it comes to that when we get to uh, one of the matches. But who? anybody think that The Miz is going to win? No. Um, no. Uh, Especially I, after the punk botch. No. <laughs> that, that was a mistake. That happens. I, I'm honestly split. It, it really depends on what their plans for Mania are because otherwise it doesn't really matter. I'll Either one you, of these guys could face anybody at this point. I'll give you on that too because if they do have something planned for Miz for Mania – over Cesaro, they could have thrown this together just to kind of give him the championship and do that. I think more than likely Antonio Cesaro is going to win. Uh, we'll see if um, that changes. Well, but think about it. Is, they they if, put the WWE title on the rock so he could go around to all the talk shows and have yeah. a shiny belt while he's on there promoting it. The Miz is one of those main guys that they have going around to those talk shows. Wouldn't it be nice Look for him to have a shiny title. belt? Yeah, exactly, and and it's like what you were saying that, it, but what well, that Miz should actually have got been getting a lot more pushed than The Rock because The Rock to me, I like I said, I still like the guy, but he's old news. I mean, you got you got kids in the audience, they like Cena. You, then you got the some of the other fans that really don't remember Goldberg, they like Ryback. So uh, so you got then you got Ziggler and you got Miz who are actually still great on the mic, and you got Punk, who who's actually doing a great job as a heel, and there's and. To me, they're still on the back burner, except for Punk, of course, because he still has a, 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 a um as a feature of main eventer. Well, there's Again, one other not... there's one other little thing I want to mention about the uh, the Miz possible title switch. If they're hell bent on this new Jack Swagger push, who better to have? Well, what better for him to be going for than the United States title? And if you're not going to have him as a babyface going against Antonio Cesaro for the title. Then you could have him going up against Babyface, the Miz, for the title. So it's a possibility if they if they go the uh, Alberto Del Rio feud at like WrestleMania or something like that with Jack Swagger, then Cesaro retains. If they want a U.S. title feud, Miz wins the title. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, next match, we're all gonna kill ourselves because that's the Divas Championship. <laughs> And then there won't be a part six or anything because we will have killed ourselves. So, uh. Don't worry, well, you know, I'll look after you guys. So stay tuned for episode 68 when somebody else takes over. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I get to host this show. Oh, I'm killing you before I kill myself. It's murder oh, suicide. <laughs> uh, so part five is going to be the Divas Championship, and then we'll move on to a better match with uh, the Shield, and then all the Elimination Chamber title matches and all that kind of stuff like that. So. Uh, part five, if you can handle it, click on it. 